What's the coolest thing about our wonderful planet? Animals. And it's our personal mission to spread the awesome facts about them so you too can appreciate and respect who we share our amazing world with. Big and small, they all matter. So join us on our wild journey with these amazing creatures. We are Wild Ratliffs. Welcome back to Wild Ratliffs. So today we are kind of making a little bit of a last minute video. Um, it's July 5th and we have a little bit of a surprise if you can't see right here. We have two little baby possums. Little cuties. North American possums. We're estimating them to be about just two months old. Um, they are rescues. We're about to go take them to a medical clinic along with mom. We do have the mom and some of the other babies. Uh, but these two actually got away from mom, so we've been having to uh, hand feed them some and uh, take care of them a little bit better because uh, we got to wait for them to be reunited with mom once mom is under anesthesia. So I'm going to take this moment to go over a few really amazing facts with you guys about possums since they are one of the most misunderstood but also coolest animals here that we have in North America. So a lot of people don't know this but possums actually eat a lot of different things including ticks. So Nobody that I know actually really likes ticks, but these guys love to munch on them. An adult possum can eat ticks by the thousands, which really helps with the spread of Lyme disease and the tick population. Hey, hold on guys, we got some really cool information. So, what you just listened to in the video about the possums eating a whole bunch of ticks, well, has actually been currently proven wrong. So, right before we made this video, it was actually thought that possums eat a whole bunch of ticks and that's one good reason to keep them in our environment. But, as some scientists at Eureka College discovered by examining 32 possum stomachs, that there is no contents of ticks. And even when they went back in older research, there was no contents of ticks ever being in a possum's diet. So where this came from, we do not know. <laughs> it's very odd, and a lot of people have been teaching us about possums for many years. But I'm sorry to inform you that that's not true. Does it mean that possums are not important? Absolutely not. Possums are such an important to our environment because they are just like vultures, eating a lot of the dead things and the nasty things and on the ground, maybe a dead animal or something that just absolutely don't want to smell or touch. So these possums are extremely important. They are our cleanup crew and we still need to keep them in our environment. So just wanted to update you guys that something I really love about animal facts is they're changing all the time. We are always learning new things about animals. Thanks for listening guys and we'll go back to the video. Possums are also really cool because they are also the only known North American marsupial north of Mexico. So they are the only one who has a little pouch. And since these are little girls, if I can show you, <laughs> here take one of them. There you go. Since they are little girls, you can start to see the little pouch right there. See the folds of it? One day they'll hold their babies in that little pouch. But right now they are the babies themselves and they are still much so in the pouch. A lot of people see them as clumsy, kind of slow moving creatures, but actually that is not true. If anybody's ever seen a possum either fighting with another animal, which we'll actually post a photo because one time we actually got a really awesome photo with one of our trail cameras with a possum standing ground with a coyote. And this coyote is actually backing off the meal to let the possum have what exactly it wants. So possums are nothing to be like taken for granted. And the way they can go through the trees it is amazing. They are like little ninjas. 
Okay, so real quick, I'm going to show you the size of mom and some of the babies right over here. So you can see mom right here. We're going to be taking her somewhere. She's a little injured, so we're going to be taking her. She has three other babies with her that we know of right now. And we're going to be taking her to get medically examined to make sure everything's okay. And also for these other two little babies to be reunited with her. But as you can tell, she is not a very small animal. They are around the same size of your average house cat and can weigh up to 20-some, 30-some pounds. Okay, so a lot of people think possums are pretty much able to handle anything, but it's not really true. Uh, exactly what happened today was a dog got into, well, got mom pretty bad with the babies. That's how these two got separated and mom got injured. So they aren't indestructible, per se, but they can withstand a lot. They actually have natural immunities to rabies, even though it can occur, but very, very rarely. And they also have natural immunities to uh, some venomous snake bites, such as, like, the cotton mouth and some rattlesnakes. So a lot of people doesn't really know what a possum sounds like, but if you actually Google it, there is different calls that the mother will make to talk to the babies and the babies to talk to the mother. So they do indeed make noises, it's just very rare that you'll ever hear them because normally they're quite quiet creatures. A lot of people will ask, well what is a baby possum called? And there has been a few misleads on the internet that they're called kittens, which actually isn't true. These little baby possums are actually called joeys. Um, they are actually born much like a kangaroo. They're about the size of a honeybee and then they follow the scent trail up into the mother's pouch. There is where they stay for quite a while to nurse and get up to a decent size, get some hair on them and their eyes open and that's when they start to venture out of the pouch more and more. Uh, they'll stay with mom for quite a while but it's it's kind of cute when you see mom walking around with all the babies on her back. If you, We'll probably post a photo so you can see because it's very adorable to see. Okay so a lot of people uh, talk about how possums play dead. And this is something that possums do. This is a very good defense mechanism. But what a lot of people don't know is a possum can't choose when it plays dead. This is not just an acting stunt that the possum puts on. Actually, this is something that happens to the possum, much like the fading goats, that happens when the possum is extremely stressed. It just goes over into a comatose-like state and the possum can't really control what it's doing or when it snaps out of it and when it doesn't. Okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed this short little video. He's going to make it short, add some more clips of the babies and llama, uh, but we're going to try to get these guys to some help. If you ever find baby possums with a mom, especially this time of year, it's really bad for them, um, always contact a rehabilitator somewhere near you to have them help. Um, and then there are some very good instructions online to take care of baby possums, but it's best to hand them over to somebody who actually knows what they're doing uh, because they can be difficult to care for, especially once they start getting bigger and they do not make great pets. So <laughs> it's best that they get into a rehabilitator to go back into the wild. So we hope you enjoyed it and hopefully you have a little bit more appreciation for possums. Say bye guys! Bye!